Just watch their moves. Better safe than sorry. Now run, 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 run. Did we just miss him? We did. I, I did see him go up and uh, go up and down a couple times. So yeah. What? Why did you hit your right? What? Oh, that's what's fun! I was wondering what he's talking about! What? Tired of walking or something? Well, big guy here doesn't seem to mind, so knock yourself out. I was, I was looking around going, what are you talking about? I want someone's foot! Oh. guys, um, it's been about 35 odd minutes since I last recorded and um, yeah, I did a couple bits, had a bit of a quick break, had a snack and made some tea. So yeah, <laughs> so I was going to wait till later but I thought you know, I just, I just want to keep on playing, I just want to play the game. But I thought I'll make a tea, have a quick break, then get back to it. So I, just, I don't want to stop playing it. So yes, let's get back to it. Oh my god, that horrible spider the bad for yeah, see I remember you. I know he said not to, but can you? Don't do anything. I need a key for you, and I'm gonna have to go past you, aren't I? Oh, I don't wanna. You gotta do something. See that, Emmy? Yes, I see it. That's what they call a blocking spider. Those nasty buggers just won't let you by sometimes. They normally leave you alone, but they can be unpredictable. Just watch their moves. Better safe than sorry. Now run, 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 run. Did we just miss him? We did. I, I did see him go up and uh, go up and down a couple times. So yeah. What? Why did you hit your right? What? Oh, that's what's fun! I was wondering what he's talking about! What? Tired of walking or something? Well, big guy here doesn't seem to mind, so knock yourself out. I was, I was looking around going, what are you talking about? I want someone's foot! Oh. Okay, well, yeah. When he said, why did you hit your right? I was, I was thinking, what? Is someone crying? Hey, what's that? Sounds like someone's crying. Oh, it's the prisoner they looked away. Is that a jail cell? Someone's in there. I can't tell who she is. She's got a, she's got her back turned. That must be who the guards were talking about. They usually turn out to be ugly when they turn around, anyway. Plus, we don't want to attract any attention if she raises a fuss. Uh, why does it matter that if someone's considered ugly or not? I mean, come on. Hello. Forget about her. Let's keep going. Aww. I bet she's not. I bet she's quite pretty or cute. And someone else. Are they the guards? It looks like the guards walking back and forth. Yeah, it's the guards. Wow. Is this what Isan sees? Mm, that's scary. Right. Ugh. What's in there? I don't want to get smacked up by my own bomb.
Ooh, alert. Oh. Ah. Oh, the key, the key. Why do I get up there? Oh my god, get out of the way. Is that following us? It looks like it's following us. Look. I come this way. It goes that way. As soon as I turn. See, look, yeah, look. get blown up by my own bomb but I don't have very much choice. Yeah that broom was making sure we can't so no matter where we go look so we go there hit if we go that way see look there's no ry rhythm to it it just follows yes, look. Yeah. <laughs> Spot a cough. Don't treat us like dirt just because we don't like glass. <laughs> I don't think we'll really get by this clean freak. Yeah, I'll bet she's cute. So you can, can't tell. Hello? Is somebody there? Barriers. It's hard to see from here. Mallet bearers? Uh, mallet bearers. What the heck are you talking about? Oh, who are you? Oh, uh, just a couple of passes by. Are you that girl we heard crying before? Sounded like kind of fake if you ask me. You're not some no good monster trying to trick us, are you? What? Oh, no, at least I don't think so. I came to Cyan City to sell some of my grandfather's bam bamboo ware. Is she the- Oh, is she the- um, the- Mr. Bamboo, is it? Mr. Bamboo? I wonder if, that, if she's his granddaughter. And the emperor who lives in this palace had me arrested. Your grandfather's bamboo ware? Is your grandpa that Mr. Bamboo back in Castle Village? You know my grandfather? He raised me back in Kusa Village. My name is... My name is Kakuya. Moonlight Beauty... Beauty, see that? Yeah, uh, there, see that? Cute. Kakuya. But I'm afraid that's about all I can tell you. I don't know why I've been imprisoned here. I don't even know who I really am, or where I originally came from. Really? Uh, uh, another babe? Mm-hmm. How could Mr. Bamboo have such a cute granddaughter? Mm -hmm. Well, you just sit tight. Well, you just sit tight, honey pie. We'll get you out. The great Isan's gonna straighten out that mean old emperor. Then I'll come back and set you free. No, I... Um... Don't sweat it, sweetie. You just sit tight. I'm gonna search every nook and cranny of this palace. And I'm gonna give that emperor a piece of my mind when we find him. So, don't you worry your pretty little head. My partner may not look like much now. But Furble here is a is actually the great Amaterasu. Now just sit back and relax. We got it covered. Let's go, Amy. <laughs> um right, so this way. Don't jump down on me, frickin' spider.
There we go. We're gonna have to use the, the spider's platforms, aren't we? Jackpot! Haha! <laughs> Why would the Emperor hide his treasure here? I can smear it tomorrow away! Yeah, remember, we have to use those spiders as, pla as platforms. Check out that funny looking thing, Amy. That's what they call a platform spider. They're, you see, they just go back and forth like that all day. They're basically harmless, unless you stay on their backs too long. Some of them don't like it and may end up throwing you, throwing you off. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Maybe I'm not. I said maybe I'm not big enough to get on. But I have to be right. There we go. Yeah, these are big now. Just before it pops up, I was thinking that's gonna be huge now, isn't it? Oh my god, oh. I thought I didn't work then, I was gonna say. <laughs> it just, I just lay the bomb onto myself, I didn't even open it. A flask? Is that considered a treasure? Fabulous. Uh oh. That's a blocking spider, I mean. I wonder why it got so bent out of shape all of a sudden. Now I've got to have a heck of a time getting out of here. Great. That thing's not... I don't like the sound of that. Oh, you moved, okay. Hey, check out this flask. It's hanging by a string. Why would this be considered treasure? Maybe it's what's in it. Well, we won't find out until we get it down here. Alright, I'm guessing I'm going to... Do I have to cut the string? Or do I have to jump up first and cut it? Can I, can I do it from down here? Well, I'm barely see what I'm doing. There we go. Uh, what is that? Can we go inside? Apparently we can! There's a strange mist in this flask too, but it's somehow different from that mist outside. Yeah, I notice it's, gr it's grey, it's like fog. I don't know, it feels kind of comforting. Ah, so this one beats the horrible green one. Uh, what am I supposed to do? There's literally nothing I can do, I can't go anywhere. How do I break this thing? I won't be able to, I'm tiny, I won't be able to break it. Why would the Emperor hide a flask here? Hmm. It might be this mist bottled up here that's, that he's hiding. Yeah, but how do I get the mist out? That's what I'm thinking. I can't break it, I'm too small. Alright, I'm gonna go out, see what happens. Huh? You wanna go back outside, I mean? You're just gonna leave this mist in here. Oh! Oh, 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 blow it out! I can do 
Blow this stuff out. I've got wind power. Come on. Wow, you're getting good at that one. Almost too good. I don't know why the Emperor hid this flask here. But he shouldn't be hogging such comforting mist all, all to himself. Hey! There we go. Cross legend. Hey! Is, is that starlight again? What's it doing here? What do we have next? Oh, so maybe that, that water dragon really isn't a thing. Okay, well. Oh, it's a um, bison! Did I do that wrong? I was probably just a little... Oh, I missed one! Whoops. There we go. Oh, it's a sheep! Never mind. <laughs> the silly way it looked like a bison because that thing went back. It's the flask went back. Shrinking becomes ah! I wonder if shrinking becomes power now. Was there something else? I don't know. Apparently, a drunk sheep can't do well. Ah, oh, Amaterasu, origin of Ugu, that is good and mother to us all. After our separation, I took to wandering the corners of the earth. Before long, I was sealed away here by a sinister power. Your arrival has broken that seal. Now I, Kasagami, grant you the power of mist. Listen over all creation like fleeting dew. Mist! Nice! I can camouflage myself. Cool. So that's why the Emperor hid this flask like it was treasure. Kasagami, the god of mist, was trapped inside. They say Kasagami can wrap the world in a thick mist that slows down time for all things. I really did feel like I was, I was in a dream world with no sense of time. But enough of that. That's one awesome power you just got back, Ami. If the legend's true, that brush technique can slow down. Any monster with a single stroke. Even a blocking spider. Let's try out that new power of yours right away, Emmy. Oh, so two, two strokes. Yeah. Just draw the mark that's there on the flask. That'll show that pesky spider who's boss. Hmm? Yeah, I know! Give me it! I know! Go away! Stop! I know! I know! I know! I know! Oh my god, I didn't even try it. Is that... There we go. I thought, oh, wait until he goes up. Which would give me more time when he's down. What the? The blocky spider slowed down. That really is Kasagami's legendary time slowing technique. Wow, Ami, you really pack quite an arsenal of techniques. Locket spiders should be a piece of cake from now on. We'll slow down anything in our way, no matter how fast it is. I figured it... I figured out something else, too. The Emperor must have a screw loose or something. I mean, why would he piss... Put... I, mean, I mean, why would he possibly want to trap Kasagami in there? I bet it has everything to do with that swirling mist out there. Achievement unlocks Kasagami. Hmm. Let's 
try this out. Sheesh, this one's fast. How are we supposed to attack it if if it wants to slow down? I'm thinking, uh... There we go. I went past that and thought, hang on. Well, now I'm back out. I'm not too sure where to go. I don't need to go back in there, do I? No, I think, I don't know, I just need to get out. Even already, we're not done here yet. We haven't even figured out what's behind this mist. Ah, good answer. Now stop mucking around. We've got exploring to do. Do we? What's left? Oh, you motherfucker. Is that going to come down every time? Yeah. He actually wasn't like that earlier. He was fine. Oh, this is where the woman, the girl is. Oh. Hi, Kagawa. You were right about the Emperor hiding treasure in his garden. Thanks to you, Amy here got another brush technique. Thanks to you, Amy here got another brush technique back. Don't do anything dangerous on account of me. Please be careful, you two. You just leave it to us, honey pie. We'll get you out of there once we've racked up that emperor over the coals and figured out what's behind that swirling mist. And how are we supposed to do that? We've literally explored every part of this place now. Are you good? Yeah. I say that, and I don't remember this bit. Ah! I can start in the brush. Maybe? Can I? Aha! A. Oh, you're close.
Oh no! Oh, that was, that was not good. The sound as well. Oh. When she dies, it sounds horrible. Whoops. I just don't like hearing dogs or wolves or animals. I don't like him hearing getting hurt. Oh great, so what am I supposed to do here? I can't touch you. Uh what's the point of this? I wonder if I can make it. Yay, made it. Yes, that's coming out of him. Ugh. Hmm? Hey, look over there, Ami. Isn't that the Emperor? I'd heard that he was sick in bed. But I never expected him to be the source of that funky mist. Now, how am I going to straighten out this royal oak? I mean, we're still too... I mean, we're still too big to fit through his mosquito net. Well, they're here for a reason, so let's I'm making a pattern as well, so Whoa. Bad timing. Oh. I'm waiting. directly below us. It's like the royal oak's mouth is just begging us to dive in. in. <laughs> Lovely. Let's go. We land right in front of the uvula. Brilliant. He's lying down. Should we just gone straight through? <laughs> we are inside the Emperor's body now. Wow, Ami, you're one fearless wolf. This should be the fastest way to get to the root of the problem. Hey, what's this funny looking thing here? Oh, I know. 
It's that dangly thing that hangs down in the back of the throat. Uvula, yeah. I bet if we tickled it, this royal oath would sneeze. That's probably our best bet for getting out of here. But let's save that for later. I was just thinking, we just got in here. Do we want to do that now? We're going the other way now. So, where's... I can't see the opening to the mouth. Is it up there? Let's just go around it. This is gross. Yep, save, save, save. Oh, lovely. I wonder what's in there. I have a feeling we're in for trouble. You're not going to turn back now, are you, Amy? Want to turn back? No. Good answer. Okay, you know the drill. Leap before you think. <laughs> That's a great way to do things. Ugh. I don't have to actually dive into that, do I? I don't see anywhere else to go. Oh, do I have to dive? No. If that's going straight into the intestines... I'm guessing the monster's coming out before we even get... Yeah. Oh, the sword! The sword's in the Emperor. Really? And this might not be the same sword that they're after. Or rod. Is that a rod or a sword? Either way, is it not the one that um, Ro and that um, monk are looking for, is it? No way. This is insane. That mist. It's alive, Amy. And now up against a dead demonic samurai. Brilliant. Oh, it looks like one of the heads of Orochi. It looked like the, one of the heads had that same sort of armour on it, didn't it? I think. Oh, no. No, never mind. I just realised because it's got arrows and things sticking out of it, so... I have no idea. It must be, Yeah, I think it's just similar armour, that's all. Under my control, this body breathes evil mist over the city. And you must... You dare attempt to clear the skies of my poison? Wagging, wait, wagon. Waging battle with me inside a human body will be no easy task. Even now, gold now, the mighty sword, cries out for your blood. Come, step forward, so that I, that indomitable blight, may cut you down. Uh, I'll step forward, all right. You're a real piece of work. You're a real piece of work, Blight. Better say your prayers. You're, you uncultured wretch. Be warned. We are in the very bowels of the Emperor. If we fight here, this body will not. Give me a break. A little action here will help him wake up. But never mind that. You're the one behind that poison mist. Is this in a human body? Maybe an elaborate trick. But it ends now. With my supreme blade, Denkomoru, I, the magnificent Asan, shall rend that hunk of junk you call sword. Mm. Yeah, I agree, Ami. He needs to calm down a bit. Oh yeah, I'm wielding the sword as well. Ha ha. Alright. I have no idea what things are going to be good against him. Uh, oh, I was just about to... I'm guessing he's about to do that thing now.
Ah, that's when he's vulnerable when he's charging. Come on, Emmy, speed up. Whoa, I didn't realise he was charging then. You obtained divine instruments, X's and B's. You will find ro rosary that contains the power of holy light. Ooh. Hey, light, a disease residing within the emperor's body and born of the intense hatred and evil of the cursed sword, gold nail. Was the source of the was the source of the asteroid mist that had plagued the capital's citizenry. But even the creature so despicable and full of hatred was no match for our intrepid heroes Amaterasu and Isan. Light's defeat brought with it a lifting of the asteroid fog. The Emperor, now freed of evil's influence, returned to normal. Amaterasu and the others had earned a brief moment of respite. However, evil conspired to cut the tranquil scene short. From Goldnail's defeated form rose the familiar blackness that was from Orochi. The spirit of evil and hatred had the spirit of evil and hatred that had resided within the sword. Black as midnight and deep as the sea rose slowly skyward. Make no mistake, this was undoubtedly one of the foul spirits that dispersed from Orochi's broken body. Quickly and steadily it rose. Then it shot off then it shot off towards the distant sea and over the horizon. It moved with purpose, as if to a rendezvous with a lost friend. And the Tarazu and the others had no time to rest. If they were truly to restore the capital to its normal routine, they still had to deal with the threat of the water dragon. This tale is far from over. Hey you! Aren't you forgetting something? You had it coming big time, Gaspar. You aren't even in the same league as the magnificent Isan. Who's he talking to? Well, Furball, that's that. How about one of those victory house? Oh wait, I almost forgot. That babe, Kakia, is still locked up. Gonna we'll tickle his um tonsils now, right? Amy, seems Pops is still snoozing away. How about we just take control and make him unlock the cell? Why bother with waking him up to explain everything anyway? Huh? You don't get it, do you? What you learn, my furry friend? Oh, 
first, I'll stir up his stomach, like this, and then... Is he gonna puke? What the? Yikes! Oh, now we have to run from puke. Thank you, Islam, because that's what, exactly what we needed. What am I learning? Oh, we're not. Okay, no man. Oh, so... What the? Hey, are you okay, Emmy? Looks like we managed to make the Emperor stand up. Come on, let me get this royal oak moving. Let's get over to where they're holding Kaguya. Your Highness! You're well enough to walk around again? That Kaguya girl was imprisoned just as you ordered, sir. Sire. But she's, do but she's done no wrong, so I can't understand why. Uh, um, not that I'm doubting your bountiful wisdom, Your Highness. Weird. Your Highness, I know you have already refused to see a doctor, but surely it would be wise to seek treatment. Some people are even starting to say your illness is what's... Uh, <clears throat> um, not that I think anything of the sort, of course. Oh. Are you... The Emperor? But if you're here, does that mean those two are... Oh dear, it's all my fault. How should I ever apologise? Hmm, let's see. How about you start off by making me 100 dumplings? Huh? <laughs> Just put on your leg. <laughs> Just put on your leg, sweetie. That voice. You think we'd buy the farm that easy? The Emperor was being controlled by a nasty stomach virus. But we took care of it. Things should get back to normal. Things should get back to normal soon. Now, let's make this rule oath open your cell. Let's see. Oh, thank you! I thought I'd never get out of there. No time for chit chat, bamboo girl. We freed the Emperor from that monster controlling him. But things are still a bit dicey around here. We're gonna hightail it out of this place. I suggest you do too. Now, let's see here. Oh yeah. Coochie coochie coo! <laughs> I can tell what you want to do, Emmy. I agree. That'll make it feel like we've set things straight here. I mean, we've already freed that bamboo girl. Now, give one of those victory howls to wake up the Emperor. Not bad. Dominate the indomitable. <laughs> Unlocked. Why would you save the game? Oh uh, no, why would you? Not save the game? Yes. You will say I took to my bed with an illness, but I don't recall. I remember meeting with a bamboo seller called Kaguya, and I remember a secret treasure for crossing a sea of fire, but I've totally lost my memory of what happened after that. It's almost like I was possessed by a strange spirit. Ah, talk about a troublesome emperor. But Kaguya's safe and all. Guess we can cut him some slack. A white wall. And a curious bouncing ball. I have an uncanny feeling that I had a dream about you two. I must apologise to Queen Himiko for my unforgivable blunders. Himiko? Yes, that's it, Ami! 
This city's a complete mess. And Queen Himiko's not doing a thing about it. There's no excuse for her just sitting around in, in her palace. Boy, am I going to give her a piece of my mind. Ah, the lovely white wolf. For some reason, I seem to feel so relaxed when you're around. I have this peaceful feeling, as if you know me inside out. You can say that. Oh, I know you from the inside, believe me. I'm collecting demon fangs. Oh, I have a couple, you know. If you have any for me, you can take some of my tra take some of my treasure. People will probably say I'm foolish giving treasure to a wolf. But you're my lucky wolf. I'm certain some good things will come of it. Surely you've collected lots of them, eh? Oh, I did, but I, so but I spent most of them. I've only got about four left, I think. What, what do you think? Would you like to make a swap? Now I've got ten left. Fog pot? Much of a mist crest. Allows transmission. I've never bought for me before. How you sold out? Oh, because you only know one at a time. I can't afford anything, any of the good stuff. Uh, now let's leave it down. Let's leave it now. Come and visit me again when you have more demon fangs to swap. Bamboo guy is um still at um well I was about to say our village but the village mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Emperor's back to his usual gentle self again. It seems he was possessed by some kind of malevolent force. I'm worried about the strange air sh stretching across the park. I hope it isn't headed for Science City too. Oh Rick. Hey look, blue skies, it's not green, horrible murky anymore. That poisonous air disappeared as soon as the Emperor got better. Maybe it had something to do with whatever was possessing him. Anyway, I hope everyone else recovers from the illness too. Right, so that's done. Let's get out of here. Well, if it isn't the White Wolf coming out of the palace, that means you must have snuck your way in somehow. Yeah, I thought you said you, no one could get through. You're unimpenetrable. Ha ha ha. <laughs> you did well. Thank you. Hey there, Wolfie. So you have snuck into the palace then? I had a feeling that you were in there, but I turned a blind eye. It was almost like I knew that some good would come of it. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but I do know that the Emperor is back to his usual gentle self. Oh yes, that girl, Hagia has been released safe and sound too. She came right outside earlier, looking happy as can be. Yeah, I bet. Who wants to be stuck in prison? Hey, there you are. If I remember right, she's not actually... Right, I think this is how the story with her goes. She's not actually the bamboo guy's uh, granddaughter. I think he found her. So adopted her. I think. That's well, that's, that's what I thought when I, when she started talk, when she started saying she was the bamboo's um, guy's granddaughter. So I think I don't think that's quite. I think I think he found her. That, that's just what pops into my head. I don't know if um, I'm remembering right or. I don't know, but yeah. Hiya, Bamboo Girl. What are you doing spacing out here? I mean, you're free now. You can go anywhere you want. Oh, hello, you two. I hardly recognise you. You were so tiny when we first met. Okay, this will be weird, but I just thought, is she an alien? I'm pretty sure he adopted her now. I don't think... I don't know. Hmm. 
Maybe not an alien, but there's something unique about her. I can't remember what. You certainly cut a dashing figure at full size. You think so? Well, actually, I hear stuff like that all the time. Huh? Oh yes, I meant you too, Isan. I was thinking you're still the same size, Isan. Just keep talking to Annie. Anyway, the city is a dangerous place right now. You should head back to your grandpa's house. That emperor fella's got an eye for that treasure of yours, right? You should get away before others start sniffing around. Plus, your grandpa seems awfully lonely, you know? Really? Oh, I see. That dear old man thinks of me as his own granddaughter. Ah, I knew it, see? I would really like to return, but... You're not his granddaughter? You mean your real family lives somewhere else? Ah, anyway. You should just go see... You should just go see him if you feel that way. I know nothing of my past. I don't even know who I am or where I came from. My first memory is of waking up in a bamboo grove. A bamboo cutter took me home while I was lovingly cared for. To repay his kindness, I helped him with his bamboo wear. If that's the case, why don't you hurry up and go see him? I know nothing of my past, but I do recall one faint memory. I thought long and hard while I was imprisoned. It was then that I remembered being in a small dark room long ago. That's all I can think about now. And I feel I must get there as soon as I can. I cannot escape that feeling. Hmm. That's a pretty weird story. I mean, you don't even know where it is you want to go back to. Bits and pieces of my memory are coming back in flashes. Together they form a vision. I see a royal crest inscribed in earth amid a grove of bamboo. I must go to Sasa Sanctuary. Oh, the one with the owls. I remember them. There it shall become clear. I'm not going there yet. I've got things to do here. Huh? What's going to you? I mean, first with the dark room, and now you suddenly want to go to such a sanctuary? I don't know to where I must return, but I have this intense feeling in my heart. It drives me forward to my ultimate destination. It drives me to seek the royal crest. I must leave the Sasa Sanctuary at once. Hey, wait! Bamboo girl, wait! Ah, oh, she's gone. I should be able to bring these back. Wait. This isn't the ones I can bring back to life, is it? Oh, it is. I can bring back to life. Nice. Right, time to go around bringing all the trees back to life. I think I've done all the flowers in this part. And we fixed it! Have you noticed that the mist over the city has suddenly disappeared? There must have been some change in the Emperor. Well, we'll take credit for that, thank you very much. Hey, wait. What about you, sister? Why didn't you try to help the Emperor? Doesn't your mystical powers have located the source of that mist? I knew it! You and Hibiko are up to no good! That... that was my mistake. But I'm just a priestess, you know? I can't go snooping around the Emperor Palace for no reason. Anyway, if you cleared up the mist, then I offer my congratulations. So then, now that's that resolved. It's on to the next problem. Next problem. I was just thinking, what problem? You have another problem? Okay, what's your next problem, eh? All of what you've done so far is amazing. However, the water dragon is a much bigger problem. Is it? Is it a bigger problem than having to get rid of that evil smog? Mm, mist, whatever you want to call it. No trading ships can get through. 
The city's food is running low. Okay, yeah, that is a bit boring. <laughs> and the evil besieging our fair land still looms large in the shadows. Now is exactly the time we need them. If only we had the fox rods. Find the fox rods. Mm. Alright, yeah, you don't know. Alright, so we need to find these fox rods. How? I don't know. Not a dicky bird, I haven't got a clue. Right. This is the, the lecture hall. Oh, yeah, you don't say anything. Oh, fire's going. Sweet. The cursed sign vanished along with all that funky mist. Looks like the city's come back to life. Amy, bet you never saw a happening place like this 100 years ago. This must be exciting for you, being from the country and all. Now, I know you just want to have fun, but don't go overboard. I mean, I don't want you to forget what you're supposed to be doing. Um, it's night time, everyone's asleep. What's happening? Yeah, what's happening in both place? Right, I'm just going to bring all the flowers back. Wow, it looks like his house is... look! Looks like his house is, um, poisoned. I wonder if he does a dance that will, um... Get rid of the poison on the tree or the curse, whatever it is. Oh look! They're all drawing pictures of my mask! And on the wall on walls as well, oh, that's funny. <laughs> I liked how it looked as well. Hey, looking much better already. Right, I need to see if there's any more trees that haven't been cursed that I can turn back now. You're cursed. Can't do you. Right, so I think I've done all the trees I can do for now. The ones I haven't done, like this, are cursed and... I don't know, but I think I have to talk to the guy over there. Mr. Flower, I think his name was? I think I have to talk to Mr. Flower and ask him um, what to do. Or get, if he does that dance, that might be what's needed. So, um, next time I'm on, I'll talk to Mr. Flower and some of the um, other people in there and just, um, yeah, see if I can get rid of the curse, fish. There's still obviously some stuff to do on in the city, this map, whatever. And, uh, yeah, so. That's basically what I'm going to do when I come back. I'll just talk to everyone, see if I can get rid of these curses, and yeah, then maybe move on. I don't know what I have to do next after that. I have no idea if I should go help that bamboo girl. I can't remember. See, I, th I thought I remembered her being adopted, or I've taken him. But I don't know why I've got the thought that she's an alien. Maybe it's because of the helmet thing she's wearing, and she's got those bamboo leaf things in her head. I don't know. But... Yeah, either way, I don't know, I can't quite remember. I had, I had a feeling she was adopted, it turns out she was. But, yeah, so I'll finish this city next when I come back on, and then just see where to go from there. See what happens. Oh yeah, we've got to try and find those six rod things. No idea where those are. But as I said, we'll wander around and find something, see what happens, I guess. So, yeah. So if you're watching, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!